Hello everybody, welcome back to another video or welcome if you haven't been here before. Uh, this video is really just kind of a random assortment of some things that I've been up to lately and also some things that I've been eating lately. I know many of you originally subscribed to this channel because of the food videos that I made and I have promised that I want to keep that as a part of this channel so you will be seeing some meals throughout this video. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just some very simple vegan meals that I love to eat when the weather gets a little bit colder. But yes, this is just going to be some of me doing some things around the house, um, making my apartment a bit cozier for the fall time. Um, so if you're in the mood for something really relaxing, just a nice little vlog, then you are in the right place. Um, but I will see you throughout the rest of the video and I hope you enjoy it. I have been having such a hard time trying to get good audio uh, for this voiceover. My mic keeps randomly switching settings. Uh, hopefully this one turns out okay, but I am just making a very simple soup here. I'm not even going to explain it too much because that's how simple it is. Uh, I will leave a full recipe below and if you're looking for some meals with an in-depth explanation in the video with them, um, you can check out pretty much any of my past videos and you can find tons of options there. Um, but in this video, I'm just gonna kind of let the footage do the talking and let you guys enjoy um, and enjoy the food itself. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite meals and maybe you will feel inspired to make some cozy soup as well.
So we are back with another very simple meal. Here I'm gonna be making some chili, and again, not even gonna explain it too much because it's so simple that it doesn't really need much of an explanation, but I will leave, again, a full recipe down below. I did want to say that I just got a new camera pretty recently. This is the first video that I'm making with my new camera, and I'm still playing around with some of the settings trying to figure out uh, what looks best, especially in low light, because um, it's winter now. By the time I'm eating dinner, obviously it's dark. Um, but regardless, my apartment can be pretty dark even during the daytime because I have uh, north facing windows and also a like a, an overhang over my windows, like a porch type thing. Um, so, it's, it's only bright in here like in the morning and early afternoon, and that's when I'm usually at work or doing other things. So still playing around with some of that. I did get a camera that's like super good in low, low light, so that's nice. But um, just letting you guys know that I'm really working to learn it, and hopefully you already see a quality improvement, but it should only go up from here. Um, and I hope that you guys will stick around to see as things hopefully just get better and better. So on this day, I decided to come out to one of my favorite trails to collect some stuff to make a little fall bouquet type thing. So I know you saw me putting some, some flower arrangements together already, uh, but making arrangements of any kind is just one of my favorite things to do. Um, so it's really fun to come out and find things that will last all through the fall season. Um, so you'll see me put that together here in a minute, but I did want to uh, come on a voiceover and just talk a little bit about some random stuff because this has turned out to be a little bit of a random video, but um, I know my uploading has been a pretty infrequent. Um, I've been doing my best to upload once every couple weeks, uh, once a month, honestly, is, has been more fitting with my schedule, but um, I am adjusting to working full-time. So after I graduated grad school, um, I started a full-time job, moved on to another full-time job, and when I was in grad school, that was when I was uploading super frequently because I was really busy, but my schedule was so flexible and my my I was able to determine, you know, how I wanted to set up my schedule. So it was a lot easier to do things, but it, it really does feel like now um, my career is really beginning to form, um, which is really amazing. But I, I wanted to ask, like, I know that from my my statistics, from my videos that many of my listeners are young women like myself around the age of 25 that's how old i am um and also um some women that are a bit older as well predominantly women all the way around but i was kind of wondering like how did you all start to feel when around the age of 25 um and if you're not 25 yet maybe just take this with a grain of salt or tuck it away for the future. But I, I have really noticed that there is something accurate about the notion that when you turn 25, like you start to function a little bit differently. Um, and I don't know if it, it's just me internalizing um, like my idea that I need to be more of an adult, but it has steadily felt like my life has started to go in a much more 
adult direction. Um, so I'm really excited about my career taking off. Um, but at the same time, trying to balance out like keeping the creative things I want to do as part of my life, um, such as this YouTube channel, and understanding how really I want it to fit into my future and how much time and energy I quote unquote should be putting into it for that purpose. Um, and in my last video, I talked about learning how to rest again after years of uh, that being really difficult and being such a source of guilt and shame. And um, that has been something I've been able to prioritize much more easily the older I've gotten because um, it, it doesn't feel as much like I have so much to prove anymore but at the same time it kind of does because um i want to be able to rest but i also want to take advantage of these years when i have energy and motivation but also like not worry so much about all of that and let life happen as it comes and trying to find the right approach to things like do I just let things be as they are and let them happen the way they're going to happen or how do I balance that out with the right amount of planning and being proactive toward end goals um, so that's been a balance I've been really trying to strike in my life and I just am curious like if you're around my age if you have reflections on that period of your life if if you have anything to add or any advice to give uh, would be greatly appreciated. Um, I know this is super random, but this this video has is already kind of a hodgepodge of random stuff anyway, but um, I hope nevertheless that you enjoyed, um, have been enjoying the video, and I will stop talking now and let you keep enjoying it. You look so cute. <laughs> you look so cute, Gertie Bud. <laughs> what? Are you having fun? Hmm? <laughs> you are so cute. Wow, you look so good in this. <laughs> 